Cheyenne Knights had a terrific first half of the season. Here's her second to the fifth. She's been so close, what seems like so many times, including Wilshire gets a fortunate bounce here at the fifth. Looking at some of the highlights from earlier in her professional debut. How about the start today for Rose Zhang? Got off to a really good start with two birdies already and then pours this one in. With Minji Lee, that would take Knight to eight under par. How about India's Aditi Ashok? She's played great all over the world, her third at eight. She has a win on the L.E.T. earlier this season, looking for her first win. She would roll that in to get to nine under and take the lead. Back to Zhang, her third at that eighth. Talk about a player looking for their first win. How about in their professional debut? Hasn't happened. Cheyenne Knight at that same eighth. She talked about how much her ball striking, she feels like it has improved and really put hers. That would take her to 10 under par and give her the outright lead. But just seconds ago, a shook for birdie at 10. And Aditi Ashok so close to winning a medal. The way that she has handled herself with everything that has been going on outside of the ropes the last week and a half to two weeks has been really, really impressive. Put together an incredible round of golf yesterday. Off to a bit of a slow start today, but still plenty of time to turn it around. 64 yesterday after the round of one over 73 on Thursday. One of a couple of 64s. We've seen a 65 already today. That's the final group. Get you over to the par three 14th. Not the easiest green to hit even for a shortish par three and a Nordquist. We've seen her make a few from off the green with a putter. What a setting this is, Tom, as we go to the 11th. There's uh, nowhere else like it, you have to say. Aditi Ashok on the tee. Here at this tricky par three. And that is going to be, it just stays on the green, which is going to do a very good effort. Not easy to get it back into that corner, and it's going to get a little bit better. So a good chance for a birdie on the tough par three. Her speed control is usually pretty spot on. Bogey free so far today. After a four under par 32 on the front. You can see the hoodies and the long sleeves. It is a bit chilly. This is young Gianna Clement, number one in the AJGA rankings. Really talented young player with a lot of spunk. She's fun to watch. Obviously, a lot of game as well. And again, they're playing the modified Stableford scoring system. You get two points for a par, three points for a birdie. Rounds in the 60s, deep into the 60s. Wonderful stuff. At the 10th, Jin Young Ko, a two putt birdie. So she's back to even for the day. She got off to a slow start, like Minji Lee, won over on Thursday, but turned it on in round two. A moment ago, at the 17th, Ashlyn Kaur. Is she going to give us a little highlight here? Yes, well done. Playing alongside Danielle Kang, who gives her a. Not able to go for this par five and two late up to this point. Little 60 yard shot for her third. Gets a little bit of an unlucky kick off the down slope there. We'd bet against her getting an invite, would you? From Golf Canada. Our friend Lawrence Applebaum might be watching now, looking at uh, potential sponsor invites for his great championship. I'm not so sure they needed to play stable for the scoring from the junior golfers. Good save there for four. Has been so good that they could have played stroke play, in my opinion. Has a bogey putt upcoming. This for Minji's just her second birdie on the day. What a difference a day makes. On a, <laughs> yesterday, eight birdies and no bogeys. Yeah, and those eight birdies came in the first 12 holes. She's tied with the DT Ashok. Here is a DT going with putter, it looks like, from off the green. 
Some of these aprons around Liberty National are so thin and tight lies. You could see she had very little green to work with. Felt like putter was her best option. Aditi Ashuk at the par 4 12th to stay tied for the lead. She's always been a good putter, Morgan. Congratulations to Lee. So we take you back to the 11th. Cheyenne Knight's tee shot. Trying to get it all the way back there, Kay. That's a five hybrid, Tom, and I think that's going to work out really nicely. Played a little draw in there to get some release. Lovely shot there. Going to go and chip this one. I, mean, I think they're going to get a bit of spin from this. It's a tight lie. There you go. The perfect hybrid between Jin Young Ko and Lydia Ko. She has all those elements to her game. Yeah. And the most impressive of them all, Karen, is the intangible, her mental game. I think this cool air has been a big adjustment from yesterday's heat and humidity. Ball just not flying quite as far. See, it's a little bit of run out. Oh, um, <laughs> couple really of revolutions. Really good effort on that lengthy double breaker. Started to kick into gear, and then, then at the JME got LA Championship. As Grant was saying, she's, she's started to challenge to win. She had that mishap on the uh, 15th. Back at the 13th, and Aditi Ashok just short of the green here. It's a birdie, technically. Over the ridge there, and then down to the hole. But didn't quite have enough speed coming over that ridge. You know, people don't really think about that. So she spends a lot of time here, weeks off. You know, she'll she'll often uh, stay somewhere. And people that her and her father, who caddies for her, have met, um, may look after them. And par 314. Let's watch the tee shot of Aditi Ashuk with our top tracer technology, presented by Progressive Insurance. Not the easiest par three to hit. As playing as the fifth hardest hole out here today. 29% of the field hitting the green in regulation. Less than a third. Contact was good. There's a backstop there. Yeah, there's a pretty steep backstop. Doesn't have too much speed. Oh, no, yeah. it's gone over it. Just can't control it out of that lie, Karen. What a week it could be for Aditi. What a place for it to happen if it happens here, Morgan. Well, she played so well just down the road at Founders Cup. This is a very different style golf course. If you look at Wilshire. Menji Lee, this would be a much needed birdie. You can say that again. She has got to get a couple of putts to fall. Her patience paid off. Let's check in on that short 16th and with plenty of power, Jennifer Cupcho. Must feel like this would be too much club. I, I was wondering the same thing. It looked like driver, didn't it? That flew halfway into the green, landed softly. Three tournaments she's played, but she's doing the right thing. She's getting herself in contention consistently and it'll happen. Just keep knocking on the door. It's going to happen. She keeps putting herself in that position. Par putt here for Rose. Yeah, good two putt in the end. Oh, she's using a seven iron today. Hole playing, 137, but it is back into the wind and off the right. And this is a fade into that wind. Wow. I, I mean, are we surprised? Best of the day. It's n not easy either when the wind starts blowing at 15 to the goon second the wind is right to left here so the tendency would be for the ball to move towards that bunker that's a really good shot aditi from the bunker at the 15th yeah, flew it all the way there to try and use the backstop trying to get it up and down for a birdie we saw her over on the right side of this hole Yeah, the putter's just stone cold, I think, for Ko today. It's kind of
kind of what we saw from Jin Young Ko the first round. It can happen around this golf course. It can happen around any golf course, I should say. It's just confidence in putting when it starts. She is tied for the lead. 15. It's a moment to go. And Tai Titikun for her birdie. Oh, yeah. Dead weight putting there. You know, something that we don't see at all out here on the LPGA Tour. And it's uh, very interesting to see how it all, how it's all panning out for her. Now live with the DJ Shook for her par. So that pulled second shot is going to be costly for Aditi. Those junior players getting to play alongside in a, a separate event, their own event. It's such a cool experience. Shia Knight, this is her third, thirteenth. I'm not happy that she laid it up into the right rough, but just a wedge in, see if she can control this back into the breeze. Yeah, she can. We might come back a little bit. Second shot here for Rose. Wind off the right, Karen. It sure is, but really sheltered by the trees that are to the right, but expect the ball to move left once it gets in the air, which is a seven iron. Oh, flagging it. This is just majestic stuff. Being on the professional stage for the first time as a professional. Birdie gets to 11 under par. Init straight away, she didn't like that for some reason. It's going to be a five for Cheyenne Knight. Last time it happened on the LPGA Tour. Here's the second at the short 16 for Ataya Titikun. Haven't talked a lot about Ataya. She's two back. She's going to have that to get to nine under. Struggling getting the clubbing right for her. Hey, it got off to a really tough start today, did Brooke. Bogey the first, bogey the third, double bogey the fifth. So it fallen back to one under par and is trying to repair some of the damage. Minji going with an eight iron. You would think that. Pretty high. You would think that, Kay, but only a third of the field has hit the screen in regulation. <laughs> I've heard your stats. <laughs> Right, here is Aditi. We saw her go with less than driver, and how tough is this one? Just awkward stance. You can see the ball well below her feet. Really well done to get it there. Will it stay on the top level? Some of the green with the bunkers. Oh. Oh. We had a good look there. It looked like maybe push that just a hair from where she was lined up and how she was looking. She says she she doesn't think you can do it remotely. It's just she got to be there. Aditi is shook to get that shot back. She just lost. Frustrating. These two holes. This would feel like giving up a shot to the field as well. It was noteworthy though to see her hit three wood off the tee. And I turned pro myself without going to college. So Titikun gets within one. I don't see a weakness, Karen. No, there really isn't one. With this club, there should be plenty to carry the green. This is on a really good line. Really good. I mean, is it perfect? A little backstop there. Wow, what a shot. She's only missed four fairways. This week, this is going to count as a fifth, as a missed fairway, <laughs> which is a bit odd. Yeah. But what a shot. Maybe two and a half, three feet for Cheyenne Knight for par at the 14th. All right. <laughs> Up at the 18th, Se Young Kim. Birdie putt. Birdies have been tough to come by at 18 this week. Looked pretty straight to me. Cheyenne Knight. Challenging second. Tom, that was a six iron coming off a downhill lie. And if it just stays on that front portion, it's right on the top of the ridge. Tee to green. 
you know, when she's on, there's nobody better. Aditi Ashok second at the 17th, a little out of position off the tee. Yeah, that's, there are a few humps and bumps in this green. That's going to leave her a bit of work to do. I mean, and it's, you know, you're in, in this position. I mean, it's a gutsy play to take driver out and go for this green and pull it off. Just a push. Never had that online on the line where that she had on her ball, as we could see from our camera angle. She really takes an aggressive pass with her irons. Creates good compression, some good height on her irons. Is that going to catch that ridge, Kay, and get a little Trying. closer? It's like catching yeah. a little wave, you know? Yep. That's done well. As I say, it's a very small target at the front of that green. That's a lovely shot there. Knowing when to be aggressive, when to be conservative, and she understands how to play a golf course so well. And plays firm and fast courses very well, like when she won a couple years ago at VOA. Back into a little breeze off the left. Yeah, just stay there. Yep, just giving herself a chance. It's, gonna it's be quite fast, Tom. Yeah, back down the hill. <laughs> Finished yeah. the HHF place this morning. It's not been the day that Lydia Ko was hoping for, but maybe she can show off that short game. Are you kidding? Oh, it's just so fast coming. Is it going to stay on top? Might go back down to the bottom. Oh, it stayed up there. I would run and mark that one quickly. Well, incredibly quick, Tom. Downhill and downwind as well. Doesn't really break a huge amount. Oh, that went. I did not see that moving at all. That took a little left, left movement midway down. Looked like that was right where she was lined up to hit it, mm. Kay. And I don't think that she, or Karen, excuse me, I don't think that she saw that break either. A little bit fooled by the read. Maybe the wind, would the wind have moved that ball a touch left as well? Min Ji Lee now with her second. Actually lucky that she didn't go in that bunker and her ball was sitting up nicely in that rough. Morgan able to loft it up and have a decent shot now at Birdie. Third shot at the 18th for Aditi. Electing to use the putter again. She's used this a good bit today from the fringe. That's very quick now. Is pretty good out of the bunkers. Gets up six, up and down 63% of the time. And that, that was about as good as she could do right there. Ball was well below her feet. Hard to get any spin on it. Here's the par putt for a shook at 18. A uh, wonderful two putt. What a yeah. save. What a wonderful round of golf. And that's that's feels like you're kind of your last easy birdie effort Morgan as you kind of buckle up and try to get pars on these last two It's just an excitement that you can't wait to get to the ball to just have another opportunity to hit another quality shot This is from 168 and you can just see by the fact that she had to pull a head cover off it's playing long and this is fading Trying to saw off her finish there almost a three-quarter punch in order to have that quiet confidence and knowing that you have all the shots, you have all the shots. The better speed control today. The best putters have the best speed. We see it time and time again. And she proved that today that she has tremendous control of her pace, which is why she makes so many putts. You hit a lot, hit a lot of fairways, hit a lot of greens and putt. Well, that's a pretty good combination. As you say, you can't win big events if you don't putt well. I'm looking to land this 160. That's probably playing more like 170, 75. Okay, that's fine, China. Oh, yeah, this, this could be really good here. Oh, wow, and she got a fortunate kick on the fifth hole that we saw in our highlights. Just skirted the bunker, just skirted it again. He went on to become the AJGA Player of the Year. So that is a two-putt par for Knight.